We got the Reds. What is that guy's name? Nate 50 package. Don't remember. I feel but, bad, I don't remember. Peter? Brock? Peter Millick. Oh, Peter. Peter Millick. Peter, yeah. We'll go street drive his. I think he's flying in town today at lunch. Ooh. So, okay. the weather's... Where's he from? Sh- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. License plates are brand new or oh, paper North plates. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. So yeah, he's flying in today. Do we pick him up from the airport? Uh, we'll call and find out. Yeah. Would that be good if we can? Or if we could get show up and that Dan off the computer, we could get Dan to pick him up. I know that's right. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Welcome back guys, we have a good one for you today. William Lacewell, one of my good customers, I've been in business 15 years now. I've even worked on his cars before I opened Late Model Racecraft, so very old, a long time repeat customer. We worked on the 05 GTO of his, bro. We did an LSX 454, which is one of the first ones we did back in 2006, 2007, I don't even know, it's been so long. Um, Fast forward today, he has a C6 Z06. He travels, I think this year, what, he was in Korea? C7. C7? Did I say C7? Yeah. I say C6. C7. Oh, sorry. A lot of C6s right now. Dang it. So, C7 Z06, I think it's 2016. C7 Z06 LT4 platform. Uh, He's been traveling overseas, I think he's been in Korea for the past like six or eight months. He dropped the car off with us. Uh, We helped store it for him. And then in the meantime, while it sat here, we decided to put a 2650 supercharger on it. Um, Those of you in the car industry know parts are hard to get nowadays. So it took us a while to finally get the supercharger. Um, We've been ordering them in bolts. uh, So we finally got his done just in time. He actually flew in town, uh, was it last week? Um, Trying to make it back for Christmas to see his family. We got the car finished up. I think he picked it up the following day and drove it back. But his car had cold air and headers already on it, so it already had bolt-ons. We added the 2650 to it, and we actually turned the boost down to what we would normally run because the car still has a stock camshaft in it. So fuel system-wise, as far as the mechanical fuel pump, the stock DI injectors are maxed out if we tried making any more. Uh, we shipped it making 675 rear-wheel horsepower, which is, I think, around 14 pounds of boost I had it at. Um, if we tried turning up any more than that, we'd run out of rail pressure and run out of injectors. So, Will's gonna take it, enjoy it over the Christmas break, over the new year, and bring it back for our 1,000 horsepower package, meaning we'll just add a camshaft to it with a low side fuel system, and then turn the boost up and make 850 rear wheel horsepower. But with that being said, being gone for six months out of the country, having your baby, which is his Corvette, sitting somewhere, when you come back and hop in a car, whether it picks up 20 or 50 or even 100 rural horsepower, it legit feels like a new vehicle to these customers. Um, so those of you out there, a lot of people spend a lot of money on these cars, but even simple mods, I just finished a ZL1 Camaro. All we did was a fuel system to support E85, picked up 55 rural horsepower. When he comes to pick that car up, it's gonna feel like a brand new car to him. Totally so, different. Totally different, new cars. Uh, I mean, like I said, when you're used to 500 rural horsepower all day, and then you get 550, rear wheel horsepower that's almost 100 flywheel horsepower it's a big difference um and in will's case he hasn't driven a sports car in six or eight months so just hopping in a new corvette again will feel fast now that we have an extra 100 and some horsepower it's going to feel even faster too a breather to it be done yep looks good she looks good. Another one's ready. I know. We're done. this week. Yeah, that was a 2650. This was a 2650. We got a few more. <laughs> I 
I see a head nod. Yes. <laughs> and a big smile. <laughs> Ooh. It'll be worth it. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's been in Korea for a year working. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, just flew in last night. Oh snap. Yeah, yeah. he just flew in. Yeah. yeah, I said, dude, the blower's been on order for like goddamn six months it took us to finally get it. And of course, oh, yeah. he was gonna take it without putting the blower on. I was like, man, just take the car for Christmas. And then sure as shit, two days before he shows up, the blower showed up. I'm like, Install that bitch. Yeah, there's, there's perfect. You got good a good, starting good to show Christmas up. gift. It is. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's a good perfect. Christmas gift. So yeah, we gotta put a breather on it still and then tune it and then she'll be done. Anthony, that's me. Another one. Definitely worth waiting for it. Oh, yeah. That blow like that blower is just we like we do so many of them. Yeah. That car they're just so efficient. You yeah. can make the same horsepower over and over and over again. Now, I wanna take one of those blowers with a set of heads. And do a full, real port and polish and chamber match, oh, and see what it picks up. We can port the blower, like but we run all the big snouts. We run the big 103s. Uh -huh. You know, some places run the smaller one. But we already run the big openings in the front. So I just wonder if it'll make it any more, pick up more on the efficiency side. It will. It will. But these things already make so much. Like for these kind of cars, it's there okay. There's no but such for thing like, as too much. But I'm saying for like max effort stuff, yeah, it's different. Different. <laughs> I'm with you. It's like that. One more degree of timing. Yeah. Just one more pound of degree. Yep. There's a thing. Stop. Right? No cam. No cam? No cam. Really? No cam. God, it's been so long since I freaking looked at this yeah, car. Are you like, sure? Yeah, this is about two, this is like 2016. God. Yeah. Yeah, it's been that long. Really? Yeah. So it, it was just our like original 750 yep. package, exactly. whatever we call exactly. it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Holy okay. shit. Mm -hmm. So it has a factory cam in it? Yeah. yeah. That's why you heard idle, and that's why I was like, man, that sounds like a cam. Yeah. Like, but I thought maybe if we did it four years ago, I did like the, the, the non DOD, like a 500 lift cam. No, it's just stock cam. Look what the f are we doing here? We need to put a camshaft in this thing. <laughs> Don't say that now. I know. God damn. <laughs> that's a 12th hour in the bottom. How many miles are on this thing? Oh. One, see if you can guess. 29. Uh, 23, 29. 40. 50. No. no. Keep going. 70? Keep going. Shit, 80? 90? 90. We normally put, let's just say, a 32% to a 38% to a 44% fuel lobe that spins that mechanical fuel pump harder to get us the fuel we need for this thing to be like a thousand horsepower package. Without that, we're limited on fuel, so uh, we'll make it as efficiently as possible, and we might have to turn the boost down some to make sure it's nice and safe for them. But yeah, normally these things would make 850 rear-wheel horsepower all day long on an octane. Here, if you got that camshaft in it, it's gonna be close to, you know, that's probably 100 horsepower less just to make sure the fueling's right. But if we have to change the boost to make it. And then later he brings it back, we put the cam in it, and then it'll be a full 1,000 horsepower package. Make it and also, I think I've mentioned in a few of our past videos, a lot of the packages we get sent almost. I don't know, almost 80% or more of our vehicles are sent from out of state. As we do the performance package, once we're done with it, we have our coating department that we send the vehicles to that gets a full paint correction and ceramic coating and clear bra if wanted to. So make sure when you guys are calling us or hitting us up for our performance packages, do know that we can also take care of the paint and correction and film on it as well. Yeah, uh, yeah like full PPF. Yeah, PPF and even uh, wraps. If you want to change your car to bright green tomorrow and it's yellow today, we can do that as well. So that way you don't have to worry about sending your car to this shop, then to that shop, and then to that shop. And be bring out it here. another week or two. Yes, you bring it here, we do the, the performance package and take care of all of the coating needs you want, all sitting right here without putting miles on the car. Let's see if we can make, what do it make, 660? It's going to make 680. One. What do you mean? 663. We made 663, so I'm gonna say, yeah, 681. Probably 674. <laughs> oh.
good about this one compared to the 1.7, obviously the 2650 is super efficient. So even at 14 pounds of boost, this thing, intake air temps, I'm sitting here making pulls are awesome. And with our extra two and a half gallons of uh, coolant running through the blower, I mean, literally, I don't think at the end of the pull, manifold air temps were only 120. And like if it was an LT4 blower, it'd be 160 to 180 right there. So pretty killer as far as intake air temps go. You got new tires coming, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Cool. Definitely gonna need those. Yeah, you, you're gonna need those for sure. <laughs> after the holidays. You said, what yeah. do you think, two weeks after? I told him the first week we're gonna be busy. Yeah, Maybe. But literally cam, low side, and boom, yeah. you have our thousand horsepower package. Sweet. It'll go from 675 to 850 to the tires. Nice. And again, it's just about fuel. You know what I mean? Like okay. I can, yeah. uh, boost is 15 pounds, right? And it's like 14.5, but whatever. Right. Close to 15. We can keep it that, when we put the cam in it, I'll spin the blower a little bit harder because the cam will eat like a pound and a half of boost. Right. And we'll get it back up to 15 or 16. Yeah. And about 850 to the tires. Sounds great. Yeah. On 93. Nice. That's what's <laughs> nice. so cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got awesome. thought about it's, it's, awesome. But not only like that, you're, the car has 99,000 miles on it. So yeah. the main thing, and I'm being serious, just from putting the cam in it, normally I would say re-ring, re-bearing the motor, but at least us changing the lifter. I'm surprised the lifter hasn't broken that thing. I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't beat on it too hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't beat on it too okay. hard. Okay. Yeah. But those lifters, even stock, <laughs> like, ugh, I'm, like yeah. I said. But we change those, I wouldn't bring those. That's why when we do the cam pack, the head, the whole motor, heads come off, all new lifters, new trays, nice. everything but the short block. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I said, if we if you wanted a rig ring and bearing it, you could if you want to, but if everything looks good and the cylinder walls look good, screw it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll look at it once we tear it apart. Awesome. But like I said, you do that, then at least I feel more comfortable of you. Yeah. Like right now, it might be, eh, don't do crazy highway bombs. No. Like a little short burst, Yeah. but the way the fuel system is, it's Mac. That, that blower is trying to make a thousand horsepower yeah. <laughs> and i'm trying to keep it at six like seven hundred right you know what i mean so <laughs> that's awesome yeah i really appreciate it yes sir i'm gonna have like i just put the other tires on right now okay. i'll try to do one test drive if i can the weather's good and then okay. we'll be good to go sounds good well yes sir so I, I hear you got some history how do you know that guy yeah i met steven back in 2005 i've known him for 16 years uh as a matter of fact he's working behind the desk at Horsepower and Engineering while he was still in college. And uh, we kind of hit it off right then and there. You know, we've, we've been friends ever since, you know. Uh, his daughter's named after mine. You know, I don't know if that was a reason, but anyway. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, the only time I bring my car back down to LMR is to make it faster. What, what was the first car you worked on? I had a 2005 for? GTO, brand new that I bought. Yeah, and then uh, I broke a couple of lifters, a couple of rocker rods on it at the track. And so I brought it down to LMR when Steven first opened up his shop and they dropped the LA, uh, LSX 440 in it. And it's making over 700, you know, all motor. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So once I got the Z06, it, you know. No brainer. It was no brainer to bring it back to, <laughs> to, to them guys. So yeah, I've known him and Dan also that long. Because Dan was working at Horsepower Engineering at the time also. So, but yeah, great guys, great customer service. Like if you want your car to go fast, these guys come see. Yeah. Hey, cool story. Thank yeah. you. Thanks You're for welcome. sharing. Yeah. All right, guys. Those of you that subscribe to our channel, I greatly appreciate it. Those of you new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, like this video, and comment below as always. Will's car coming back. If it was mine, I would add heads, cam, and a low side fuel system to try to shoot for 850, 900 rear wheel horsepower with his LT4. What do you think he should do, guys? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Until next time.